This is Twit. So we have a bunch of events to cover. I think we're going to do live coverage of everything. Why not? I don't want to be <laughs> look like an Apple bigot. So September 3rd, which is what, three days, four days from today, Samsung Unpacked. Now, I have to say, when you've seen an Apple event, going to a Samsung event is a little bit of a... <laughs> Step down. Well, no, I'm, you, no, I'm, I'm just thinking of CES where it's like, we're going to do every product from every division that has anything to do with anything that might be in a home or an apartment or held by somebody anywhere. And it's like, those are terrible. But did you go, I bet you, Christina, because you're in New York, did you go to the last Samsung Unpacked event, the Broadway show? Oh my God, I was just about to bring that up. That was the most amazing event ever and not in the way that they intended it to be amazing. That was the one uh, where they're showing off the Galaxy S4. Oh, my nails are drying, so I don't want right. to touch the phone. It, it worked better live than it did in person than it did like over the web. Um, the, the idea was to create like a 50s musical sort of motif on it. The problem, however, is that most of the audience who's watching either at home and even in the, in the audience, because um, they were at uh, Radio City, doesn't understand like the fact that this was a um, a, a, a kind theatrical of on, event, on, right? And that it was a riff on like you know fifties, sixties era um, comedy musicals. Right. So it it played really, really awkwardly. Um, and then apparently um, Samsung changed some lines in the script, which you know muffled the humor a little bit more. Um, and then they um, invited everyone, literally, and their brother, second cousin, and like, you know, um, my best friends, you know, um, boyfriends, uh, girlfriend's brother's girlfriend, you know, from, like, it's like the Ferris Bueller line, like every person was there <laughs> because they needed to fill up this space. The problem was that then there was like this huge bottleneck to get into the space. And then afterwards, you know, anybody who's wanting to look at the phones, um, you had to, you know, like, fight with 500 people, many of whom don't speak English, which is fine. But when you're trying to get in, be like, can I get a photo of this phone? It's like, OK, you know what? I'm just going to leave. Um, it was it was chaotic, but it was also kind of amazing with the the whole stage show thing. It was uh, poor Will Chase. He really tried. But yeah, <laughs> I you yeah. know, I kind of thought that people who were there might have had a different experience. Those of us watching at home didn't really get a sense of the theatricality no, of the no, event. I mean, right, being there in person, it was a lot better than um, looking at the live stream, but it was still, there was still awkwardness. I remember kind of turning the, to, to the people I was with and being like, is this really happening? Because it just felt <laughs> so, it was just so funny and bizarre because you just don't expect that. You're just thinking, really, really? I mean, it was... Nothing um, worse than bad, you know, <laughs> not funny attempts to be funny. Right. Yeah. Bad yeah, humor. I mean, Here we go. Put up a little of the yeah, audio on oh this. This will yeah, give you an idea on. of how terrible this was. Are, can you hear my audio, John? The new Samsung Galaxy S4. They're not going to give you a free phone, Justin. <laughs> I'm not asking for one, but I thought maybe you could find out if I can transfer <laughs> all from my old phone to the new Galaxy It's S4. like, why am I here? Why am I watching you this? You want me to stop the entire presentation just so... And who is this guy? You can transfer everything from your phone to the And Galaxy why is there a car on its side on the stage? <laughs> Ryan, <you're gonna> <laughs> exactly. And on yeah. and on and on. It was just... It was... Uh, it was like, what... It, what uh, and you know, if you've been to an Apple event, and then you see this, you go. Look at that! That's what happens when all your bridesmaids are in Broadway shows. Awesome feature. And, and you know, even if you only have two phones, you can still set up a great-sounding two-channel system. Plus, you can adjust the volume of each device, and you can start up the music again right from where the group play leader stopped. And one of the coolest. I was just checking to see if it was as bad as I remember. Yeah, it was. The awesome thing to think about is what the price tag for this was. Oh my God. Never mind. And not only does group play let you share music. <laughs> so they're doing it in New York again. Is it Radio City Music Hall September 3rd? No. So what they're doing, they're doing it from Berlin, and then they are also live streaming it oh. to China, and, or, or live streaming it to, Korea, to Hong Kong, I guess, and live streaming it to New York. So okay. that's what they've done the last two times when they've had the off-site events. So a bunch of people gather and, and sometimes have alcohol, sometimes don't. I hope they have alcohol this time, although it will be 8 in the morning. Um, 8 a.m.? Uh, and you want what, I Bloody wanna, Marys? Heck yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> shoot, if I'm going to have to like watch through one of these things, I would at least like to have something going on is now, all I'm saying. I remember the last event, they had a very lugubrious orchestra Yeah. playing very sleepy music. It made me want to go to sleep. <laughs> right. And you're at 8 a.m. in the, you know, you're, I mean, I think this might put you to sleep. 
if they do that. Again. Right. So so they're going to have the, the live stream, um, but they're, um, you know, getting everything out on the that's the third. Right. That's Wednesday. Um, so, um, yeah, they're going to be doing all of that. And they will also have the stream people can tune into. So they will probably also have product in New York um, for people there to be able to, to get their hands on what that's what they did last year at IFA. And also for the Galaxy S5 event, they had satellite things where you could mm -hmm. still touch and, and play with stuff. And then they had, you know, the, the live event from, in that case, it was in NWC. It's too soon for an S6, right? I mean, we wouldn't see a Galaxy. Yeah, no, this will be the Note 4. Note 4. And okay. this will be the Note 4. And um, they pre-announced one of the, the watches last week, one of the... the um, the, the new Galaxy or Gear Live watches, I guess, one of the new right. Gear watches. Now, this is interesting. This is Tizen, that. right? This is not uh, Android Wear. Right. Um, and I'm, it's I'm, a phone. You can actually, you don't need a phone right. for it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, they might have an Android Wear component there, too. I'm not really sure, but they're going to have the the new, you know, Gear um, device, um, the, the Note 4. And um, I would not be surprised if we saw a couple of other wearables and, you know, they just did their big tablet revamp, but they might do more tablets again because I'm going to be honest, I like the latest high end uh, Samsung tablets, but I, they have so many various models and, mm -hmm. and series, the tab, the note, the, the tab pro, the whatnot. Like, I don't even know what they all are. They've got like 16 various types of devices. Hasn't there's that no, always been... Tab. You know, that, that is the difference between Samsung and Apple. Apple right. picks the one best thing and says, this is all you need, just this. Don't think about anything else. Samsung says, whatever you want. We'll make it any size you want. Make it any shape you want. Whatever you want. Um, and I think those are two reasonable market strategies. And, I, you know, I mean, some people want choice. Well, some people want to be told what to do. But this is also, I mean, I don't know if it's choice so much as just an overwhelming array of options. I mean, the, the running joke on This Week in Computer Hardware has been like, okay, so, you know, Asus has announced 34 motherboards this spring. MSI has announced 34 motherboards this spring. And it gets to the point where you're, you're, you're so looking, much, Sometimes it's too much. Well, you're trying to figure out, like, why is this tablet $150 less than this tablet? Right. Is it the memory? Is it Wi-Fi? Is it G3? Is it, oh, wait, it's LG4? No, it's not LG. It's, and you're, you're, you're just, you spend a lot of time beating your head against a wall trying to figure out which one you should actually buy.